Hello everybody, Happy New Year's. So today I'm going to do a tutorial on newborn eyebrows. I have Manuela here. Um, she's not finished, she's about halfway done and that's usually the stage that I start my eyebrows at. Um, it really helps for eye details, other detailing um, that I might want to do that I don't really notice until it there's visible brows on there and I'll go over supplies with you and then we'll get started. Uh, my newborn brows are very, very mixed media. Um, I have uh, this um, eyebrow stencil kit. It is super, super messy. Um, but these two are eyebrow patterns that I use. Um, and that just gives me a little bit of a base, but you could use any brown powders that you have. These two I used to use on my eyebrows, so I just happen to like the colors of them. Um, I have here the brushes that I use for the powders. Um, these are regular eyebrow makeup brushes, and they work best. I have a small one. And then one that's a little bit larger, and I'll probably use a small one on Manuela. Um, but they are just long, uh, kind of skinny, straight ones. And it is the absolute easiest way I have found to do a eyebrow shade line. Um, I have pan pastels in eggshell, sepia, 90% uh, French gray, and sandbar brown. Um, I already sharpened mine, but you want to make sure that they are really, really sharp, like as sharp as you can possibly get them. I also have a number two, or no, this is a three, um, just a round brush. And then I have Genesis Thick Medium as well. All right, so we'll get started. All right, so the very first thing that I do is take my brush. Um, I'm going to use uh, this lighter color here and see how that looks. I might end up doing the darker one. I'm not 100% sure yet. And just blow off any excess. Um, I'm not 100% sure what hair color she has, so I start with a pretty neutral one and then you know, as I complete her, I can go ahead and add some lighter colors or some darker colors so that it matches better. But I just go right uh, where the brow line starts here and straight out along the brow. And I do a little bit more just where it would be a little bit thicker. And that is it for the base. I'll do the other side again, getting some more powder, and you can turn them upside down, whatever is comfortable for you. Just kind of, you know, so that they're even. You might want to go over a couple spots a couple times, depending on how they came out. But that is pretty good. I'm very happy with that for my base. And then I go ahead and just bake really quick to set the powders. Alright, so Manuela is baked. I just baked her as normal, 265. And I didn't do a full eight to nine minutes. Um, I just did about five and that's enough to set the powders well enough for what I'm doing. All right. So at this stage, I take my sepia and I think I said it already, I might not use all these colors, but these are the colors that I use most often. So I just wanted to have them available. And then I start doing a few little, um, hairs. And I do them just very, very, very lightly. And a little bit in an alligator um, shape. I usually do the top first. I don't do like, you know, top and bottom, but it just kind of depends. I don't know. 
know if you can really see those well on here, but I can see them. Um, and things like that. Uh, I don't know if you could see that little dot. My pencil tip just snapped and left that dot. I don't worry about that because I'm going to use um, other colors and texture on top, so it's not going to be noticeable. All right, so there we go. For that's good enough for the sepia for now. And they are darker than I'm going to want them. I know that for sure. But even if they weren't, I would still do a bit of eggshell. And the same thing, just some lines. This um, eggshell, I will do some more, uh, you know, some extra little lines here above the brows, just where babies would naturally, or people in general, would naturally have a little bit of hairs. Sorry. My pencil tip keeps breaking. I'm like barely touching it too. All right. And you can see that little dot I went over and it's no longer visible. But um, this is the most important part. If you want light brows, you don't have to do a darker one. Uh, you could do this and it adds highlights and it actually gives the illusion that you have painted these brown, um, the brown base underneath. It'll look like little hairs in between the white. So you're doing this more as a highlight and to break up than necessarily drawing full eyebrows with this. Alright, so I am happy with that for now. So my next step is thick medium, and I'm just going to mix it up a little bit so that it's a little bit easier to get out. This part's tricky. I'm not going to edit it. You can see how it's a little bit frustrating sometimes. Alright, so I get a bit on um, this, or you could get some on your brush. Maybe I should do that. It might look more professional. <laughs> and then I just kind of gop it on then I am going to take my broken rooting needle and just draw little lines right through it And some gets on the tip, and you can just go ahead and put it right back on there. And usually the broken one is fine for me to use. Um, this baby, her little eyebrow line is smaller. She has a pretty little head. So I'm going to use an unbroken rooting needle. It's a little bit sharper and will give me a thinner line. Um, sorry, I got a little hair on there. Um, it will give me a thinner line than the broken one will. And you just want to kind of look, make sure there's no bumps that it actually looks like little lines. I'm hoping you guys can see that pretty clearly. And you can do that too if you just get a little bit of thick medium and use it like so to draw a line on there. That's a big clump. It's not dissolved, really. And 
and I don't know if you could see there's a couple little bumps of it so I'm just using this because it was handy to just remove those and that is it for that one for now and then the same exact thing on the other side side's going a lot smoother. Usually works that way. One side will be a major pain in the butt and then the other side is like really seamless and perfect. And my thick medium is pretty shiny. Gosh, uh, this one looks so good. Now this one doesn't look good to me because of that. But uh, my thick medium is really shiny after baking. I don't worry about that because I'm going to do a matte layer um, when my painting's done. So it's going to get rid of that. Alright, so that is it. I will go ahead and bake this. Um, like I said, as I continue painting, um, you know, I might change them a little bit. If I end up doing super light or super dark hair, I might add a little bit more of the darker brown hairs or a little bit more eggshell hairs. Um, but this is a really nice neutral color. If I do any type of darker blonde, um, medium brown, it's going to look really nice with that. Um, so yeah, I think that that is pretty much it. I hope that you guys found that helpful. If there's anything else that you want me to do a tutorial on, definitely let me know.